What up, everybody? It is your boy, the Virtual Wizard, and welcome to another episode of Game Grabs, episode nine. And I am happy, very happy to say that I have a special guest on the show. This person is from Germany. This person is a awesome gamer. They have an awesome, awesome collection. They go by Emily, AKA the Retro Day Game, Daydream Gaming Princess. Is that correct? Did I say that right? All right, yes. Yep. So okay. we're gonna be sharing <laughs> our recent game grabs for the past, from the past month, couple months, years. So yes. Let's get right into it. I would say, ladies first, I'm interested <laughs> to see what you have picked up. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Jorin. I'm so happy to be here. So, my very first game is a Super Nintendo game called Parodios. So, maybe you have seen on Instagram, I did actually not find this cartridge. I still have the box and the manual, but well, while posting my stuff, I just thought, the game is missing, what happened? So I went on eBay and got it pretty cheap because, well, I still have the package and the whole box, what is awesome. And this was the first game I got for a long time for the Super Nintendo. And that's super amazing. If you know it, the parody of Gradio. Parody. Ah, <laughs> that's a good game. Do you know, I love it. Do you know what year it was released? Uh, no, not exactly, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. 94? 94? <laughs> we'll say 94. Yeah, just say random, random numbers. <laughs> 94, that's fine. We'll say 94. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'll definitely check that one out. Um, I'll go next. Um, since obviously everybody's excited for October uh, for uh, Metroid Dread coming out, everybody excited coming out for the Switch. Um, I recently have picked up Metroid uh, Samus Returns for the Nintendo uh, 3DS. Um, it is the remake from the uh, original Game Boy, uh, Samus Returns, um, nice. released in 91, I believe. Uh, this game is awesome. Um, you get to relive a lot of memories, all that more <laughs> stuff, everything like that. So definitely recommend it. Um, graphics, obviously, if you want to relive from what you saw uh, back in the day, definitely pick up uh, Metroid. Um, Samus Returns the Nintendo 3DS. This is a great game. Very nice. I never played a Metroid game, to be perfectly honest. I know. Shame on me. <laughs> I know, I know. But, yeah, I should really start it and get going with it. <laughs> Definitely do that. You're, you're missing out. You're really, really I missing know. out. So, try I know. You get a chance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my second, also a Super Nintendo game, pick is Secret of Evermore. So I'm a really huge Super Nintendo fan, but I'm an even huger um, JRPG fan. And I actually played more or less all of them on the Super Nintendo, but Secret of Evermore was always missing. And I know it is super expensive at the moment if you really buy it boxed with the game guide that was coming in Europe with it so it's also always those huge boxes with the game guide you pay about 200 euros nowadays what is ridiculous I just want to play the game so um, this was about 15 euros so I'm very excited to finally have it in my collection <laughs> and I'm going to play it soon <laughs> that, that's awesome that you have that in your collection I have it in my collection but not a physical I have it on modded on my uh, Super Nintendo Classic, so not willing to spend the money right now, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I will go next. So the next game I have is a game that I've been looking for for a while. Um, I've been I've been trying to pull the trigger on it and like I just don't do it, but like I recently was like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy it. I don't care. Um, I have the poster in the background. Probably see it. Um, it is um, Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter uh, 2 Ooh. Turbo Revival for the Game Boy Advance. Now, I Very nice. yes, this game is awesome. This game is sick. It, um, it's just like obviously Super Street Fighter. Um, I played it on my Game Boy Advance. It was smooth. It was not choppy at all. Um, yes, the graphics, the colors, it was just so vibrant. Dope game, dope game. I definitely recommend it. I probably spent maybe about like. 
50 bucks it is complete so um i'm happy that i spent uh money and it was definitely well worth it so yes super street fighter 2 turbo revival amazing game for the game boy fans i definitely recommend it check it out if you have it Yep. Very nice. So I, I love Street Fighter on the Super Nintendo as well. I played it a lot. It was one of my first fighting games and it's just super amazing really. So I understood. Yeah. <laughs> you a Street Fighter character. Chun Li, of course. Yeah. Everybody loves Chun Li, of course. Yeah. Yeah, Chun Li is the I'm best. Uh, Ryu, uh, Ken guy. I like both. So, um, can't go wrong with mm -hmm. them. So. Mm -hmm. Laura is yeah. yours, Emily. So next one, we are going um, to the PlayStation. So I'm at the moment uh, posting PlayStation games, but to be honest, this is one I just added to my collection, Vagrant Story. This came on eBay as well with um, the gaming guide, what is quite nice. So um, I got it quite cheap, both of them 20 euro, very good condition still, um, very mint actually. I didn't play it, but on Instagram, one of my dear friends, Ichi Ray, did actually recommend this and made a very good post about it to um, yeah, just see the whole artwork and so on. So I'm excited to play that one day. I got it quite cheap, what is brilliant. And um, yeah, let's see. Uh, nothing more I can say about it. I just blindly trust my friend. <laughs> yeah, definitely your friend. Yes, that is a good thing. That's an awesome thing. Definitely, I don't okay. know what to do, but yes, definitely try and get a chance. Um, yes, thank you for that. Um, the next game, I'm gonna go into uh, Sega Dreamcast, which is one of my favorite consoles of all time. Um, the last, mm -hmm. uh, the last console for Sega, sadly, um, which was 1999. Um, if you are a fan of the Die Hard arcade, um, then this game is for you. And this game, I love this game. It's probably one of my top five games for the Dreamcast. It is Dynamite Cop. Now, this game is amazing. It's a beat-em-up game. Um, I think you are on a boat. And you can select from three characters to choose from. And you're just beating up people <laughs> and just trying to... <laughs> There's a lot of interactive uh, parts of the game where you have to, like, press certain buttons to, like... Um, just like the Die Hard Arcade, like, jump and kick. And if you miss... Um, you obviously get hit or like you you uh, fail the mission. Not the mission, but you fail the uh, interactive part. But yes, um, Dynamite Cop, amazing game. It's up there in price. I'm glad I have it in my collection. It's definitely up there in price. I'm gonna say maybe like 80 to 100 bucks complete to be honest. But yes, this is an amazing game. Dynamite Cop, if you haven't checked it out, definitely do that for the Dreamcast. Mm -hmm. Dreamcast was a very nice console. I never owned one, um, but I played at a friend's house and it was amazing, especially Quake 3 and Choo Choo Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Choo Choo Rocket, I remember that game. I do remember. Did you play uh, any, no, no uh, Jet Grind Radio? Oh, Jet Set Radio is something I played. Yes, yes, yes. That game is awesome. Spray paint and everything. It's, it's like yeah, this was really awesome. I liked it a lot. <laughs> Yes, that's true. All right, let me take a look. So we are going into the Nintendo DS and this is a very special game for me because I was already talking about the JRPGs for the Super Nintendo. This one is Chrono Trigger for the Nintendo DS and it's a Russian version. <laughs> so I got it super cheap. It was still sealed for 50 euro, what is quite uh, cheap for Chrono Trigger. It is an original just from Russia. And um, I played this game on the Super Nintendo last year, the very first time, and I don't know how I could survive so long. <laughs> it's, it's an amazing game. I really love it. It is one of the best, really, time traveling and all those characters, the music. Oh, it, it is really beautiful. Yeah, Cr Chrono Trigger is classic. I, I was just playing it not too long ago. I was just actually looking at that on eBay. <laughs> could not find a good price for it. I'm like, Damn, I need that. So mm -hmm. you are making me happy for your collection, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. If you have it, then I'm I'm happy. But I'm definitely on the lookout for that Chrono Trigger for the, for the DS. It's really wonderful. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, 
Uh, I'll go on to some Sega Genesis. Um, recently, I picked up one of my favorite games for the. Uh, it, was, it was a. It was my favorite game for the uh, Super Nintendo, but I found it for a really good price for the Sega Genesis. It's a classic. My brother and I used to play this all the time when we were kids, and that is Battle Toads and Double Dragon. <laughs> I love this game. Uh, my brother and I were a big uh, Double Dragon fan. Um, he's, an, he's an okay fan of, of, of Battletoads, but um, yes, we used to play this game all the time. In my opinion, I think the Super Nintendo version is better. Um, I do not own the Super Nintendo version. Um, on my modded Xbox, yes I do, but not a physical copy. But this definitely does the trick. So I love this game. <laughs> Battletoads vs. Double Dragon. I am a huge Jimmy Lee fan, so um, if you haven't tried this e either, definitely do. Um, it's equivalent to, well, it's kind of like a, a an alternate version of, of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, um, but yeah, Battletoads vs. Double Dragons, great crossover, classic. All right, very nice. <laughs> Okay, my next one is also a classic. So um, most of the people on Instagram know that I'm a huge Zelda nerd, um, a fan girl, a very small one, um, and very similar with Final Fantasy. So I was already posting my um, Game Boy games, and then I noticed, well, I actually don't have Dawn of Souls, so Final Fantasy one and two. And then, well, I noticed it is also just ridiculously expensive. But I got this on eBay as well for, um, let me lie, 25 euros. And it's, as you can see, still in the box and actually packed. This is, I, I was freaking out really that it was that cheap. So give it to me now, send it to me. I need it. <laughs> now I have it. <laughs> That's dope. I was actually looking for that game too. Like, great mass stick of light. Games that you <laughs> I don't, I don't have, so I'm kind of jealous. No. <laughs> well, the other way around, exactly the same. It's <laughs> a great game. Definitely, that's an awesome game. Uh, and I'm glad you picked that up. Um, uh, I'll go into... Actually, I've been trying to pick up this game for a long time. And I never... For, I've seen it in my local retro game store. I never just... I was bypassed it. But then I saw it and I'm like, yo, I have to get it. Uh, it is a uh, Panzer Dragoon. Orta for the Xbox. Mm. Now, I know everybody's a fan of the Sega Saturn version, which costs like <laughs> millions of dollars. Right, it's actually up there in price, but now this is a smooth game. If you love uh, dragons and just they shoot like green lasers, it's such a beautiful game. <laughs> the music's awesome. Um, it, if you want to get away from beat em ups, definitely go with Panzer Dragon Orta. It's just smooth. I paid probably like 50, maybe $40 for it. And um, yes, it's an awesome game. Um, definitely made by Sega, only on the Xbox, the original Xbox. So, um, Panzer Dragon Ball, uh, awesome game. Very nice. Very, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, my next one, so we're going to Nintendo, or we stick with Nintendo, better said. Final Fantasy, it continues to be Final Fantasy. Um, my two favorite games of all time, it depends on what day and what time you ask me, are uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time or Final Fantasy VII. So I need Final Fantasy VII um, on every console I can get it, obviously, not only on the PlayStation, but also to play it on the Switch um, in the bed. So this is why I have this wonderful copy. It's Final Fantasy 7 and 8 remaster in a twin pack. It wasn't too expensive, so on eBay as well, it is still sealed. Um, I didn't open it yet, it's quite new when I bought it. And uh, 35 euro, I think, for both games. Or even 30, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, yeah, for me, Final Fantasy is always like, take my money. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was definitely hooked on Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, I was playing it for the PS4, so um, definitely awesome game. Definitely back to my memory. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. Because yeah, with Final Fantasy VII, I even get a tattoo done from Final Fantasy VII. This is how much I love it. <laughs> oh, you're getting it done, or you got it done? 
I getting it then? So when I still left in the UK, I started it and I actually wanted to finish it last year. Um, but I'm getting an appointment. I do have an appointment in September, but I'm not sure if I can travel there. So to hopefully finish it after one and a half years. <laughs> yes, I want to see that tattoo when it's done. That sounds. I will cool. definitely share it. <laughs> um, I'll go next. Um, everybody knows this game. Um, this is probably my favorite game for the original NES. Um, I'm so glad to own it. That's a complete hobby. Not pay a lot for it. Pay like a good forty bucks for it. Um, I've seen it way higher price on eBay. I don't know what they were thinking, but like, um, I love this game so much. I recently just beat it again. Um, it is Super Mario Brothers Three. Yeah, wonderful. Yes. Um, I love this game so much. Um, and it looks mint. Yes, it is very mint. Very mint. There's rarely any wear and tear on it. It is awesome. It's complete. The booklet, everything. I think the poster's still in here too. Um, yeah, it is dope. Um, and ironically, I've been seeing raccoons going through my trash too. So like, it reminds me of this game. So, um, <laughs> so um, yes, this is an awesome, awesome game. Oh wow, I'm super jealous. Yes, yeah, probably the best game on the NES, hands down. I love it. Definitely. You have, to, awesome. have you completed this? Yes, I did. Oh. Long ago, but I did. On the SNES, where the All Star Collection came oh, out. Oh, so yeah. 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 yeah, of course, yeah. But like, this is an awesome game. Glad to own this. Yeah. Definitely. It's really good. Okay, I'm up next. You're so up? we still yeah. are doing Switch and um, we continue with Zelda. Hooray! So this is the German version, Calamity of Ganon, so the Hyrule Warriors, the newer edition. What is very, very nice, uh, yeah, Zelda okay. rule. And um, yeah, I love Breath of the Wild. Um, it's a pretty good game and yeah, this completes the story. Well, it is a prequel actually, yeah. If you played it, you know, it is um, before the story of Breath of the Wild. But it's pretty nice because it's a completely different game but in the universe with the characters and so a lot of fun really so just bet it or beat it last weekend i guess so finally finished it was was great fun that's, that's dope that's so dope and obviously legend of zelda right now is really hot um, it is yep yeah, i've seen your post which went crazy <laughs> And I want to congratulate you on that. That was an awesome post. Um, Thank you. Yes. What I've, I've been meaning to ask: What is the green um, square oh, yeah. in the uh, Switch games? Is that a? That is typical German. So this is, um, yeah, the the age restriction, and the Germans do want to have it as big as possible on the boxes. This is why I try to get UK versions or Austrian versions normally. Because, well, later I have a couple of them. It is a lot smaller, obviously. And from the US, you know, um, it's not like this ugly thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just asking because, like, knowing myself, things like that, like, really bother me. Like, I have an eye, like, everything has to be, like, you know, perfectly you know, blank. But I, that was, I didn't know they put the age restriction on it like that. That's interesting, though. I like that. Um, yeah, I'll go next. We'll jump into, yeah. some, jump into a little bit of a PS5. Um, I, I picked this game up a few Ooh. months ago, probably around April. Um, this game was, it's still hot right now. Um, I've honestly slowed down playing it, um, but this is an awesome game. Now, if you want to talk about uh, Gears of War and uh, Destiny having a baby, this is the game. And this game is <gasps> Outriders. Oh yes! I, I really desperately need this game. This game is so awesome. It's hard. Obviously, you play the harder the tiers there are, the harder the enemies there are. You can level up. Nice. It's, it's just like Destiny, third person uh, view, awesome graphics, 60 frames per second. This game is amazing. Um, I think I'm, my friend has been telling me get back on it. I've taken a high <laughs> on this game, but this game is awesome. You can level up, level up your gear. Uh, get um, weapons, get, you know, um, 
that, get different types of weapons. It's just like Destiny, which I stopped playing Destiny, unfortunately, but it's, this actually reminded me of it again, so I kind of fell in love with this game again. So, um, yes, I'll not play this. If you have not played this, this is an awesome, awesome game. Super amazing because when you say yeah Destiny, I love Destiny and I play Destiny one and two for hours and hours and hours. Really, it's amazing. And Gears of War as well. Um, Gears of War is the reason why I'm having an Xbox actually because an Xbox 360. I love those three Gears of War um, parts. I didn't play anymore, only one, two, and three, but they are so amazing. And Gears of War two, I cried. <laughs> That's my favorite. Yeah. Gears of War. Uh, my brother bought me Gears of War 2 for my birthday back then when it first came out. So, um, yeah, that's so definitely amazing. my favorite. I love Gears of War. Um, yeah. yeah. But yes, you are up. Brilliant. So, last Switch game. Well, you know it already. Um, you have seen it on my post, but nonetheless, it is brand new. Ta da! More Zelda. Can't go wrong with that. More Zelda. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, the wonderful Joy-Cons. Um, I pre-ordered them, fortunately, a long time ago, and Sky Sword. Nothing to say about it. Everyone knows it. Most people love it. So I love it. Yes. Probably. Awesome. Yes, <laughs> the original Skyward Sword for the Wii with the uh, crossbow training. Uh, that game is amazing. I have not picked that one up, but seen people post it and they're making me want to do it but uh it's just an hd version so i'm pretty sure the graphics look yeah. better so uh definitely a dope pick up there. um yeah. let's get into some ps4 um this game was this game is awesome i gonna say i love games when you're by yourself and you're, you're trying to survive um probably my favorite game on the ps4 right now besides uh Actually, it is my favorite game, and it is uh, Days Gone. Um, yeah. Days Gone, it, yes, it's a survival zombie apocalypse. You play as one guy, you have a motorcycle, uh, you can equip weapons, um, you can, you know, mix weapons up. It's an awesome game. Um, I played probably like 80% of it, and then the PS5 <laughs> came out, and then I kind of like gave up on it. So I think I just might. Um, restart it and play it again because I love, love, love zombie games and I love survival games and horror games. So, um, Days mm -hmm. Gone for the PS4, probably my favorite on that console. So, yes. Amazing. Very nice. Yeah, I, I also want to pick that up. So, um, talking about zombies and survival, I have the perfect PS4 game. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Resident and as you can see, oh, wrong side. Yeah, not the German one. <laughs> so Peggy, it's a lot smaller. Yeah, Resident Evil. Well, not a lot to say about it. I was actually a, a Silent Hill fan girl in the past. Um, no reason why I never played Resident Evil in the past on the PlayStation. Just happened. Um, but when the remakes on the PS4 came out, I absorbed them, really. They are really, really good, and I love Zero, I love One, I love Two, and now I need to play Three, definitely. And I'm super excited, because all those Resident Evils, not Five and Six, but um, they are super, super horror games, and I love it. Yes. Always waiting for the next shock. <laughs> That, that game, but you, you haven't played it yet, right? You said you have not tried it yet? No, not yet. See, I, not yet. I've completed it five times already. So I'm a big fan of that game. I love it. It's so smooth. The graphics are amazing. I'm not going to spoil it for you. But definitely a great pickup. You're going to have a lot of fun with that one. I definitely recommend I'm sure, it. yeah. Um, speaking of Capcom, um, you see, we're seeing eye to eye. Things coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Capcom, that was my next game. Um, I've been trying to get this game for so long, and I've been to my retro gaming stores, and it was so expensive. But I actually picked it up for a good price, maybe like sixty dollars. That's a good price for me, and that is Dino Crisis Three. Oh, nice. For mm -hmm. the Xbox. 
Now, if you're talking about Resident Evil and you're talking about dinosaurs and you want to combine them, this is the game to do it. Obviously, Dino Crisis 1 and 2 are classics, but this one is pretty good. I love this one. I was just playing it for like a few hours the other day. Um, it really holds up. It's really fun. Um, got a great story. The music, I, I enjoy the music. Yeah, Dino Crisis 3. Um, and it's complete. So I really just was trying to get this in my collection to add to my Xbox collection for so long. And I'm glad I finally picked it up. Um, from a dope game, really dope game. Amazing. Well, that's really good. And we didn't even plan our uh, which games we are showing. So that really makes sense. <laughs> okay. My next one, well, we, we talked about fighting games already and Street Fighter is one of the classics really and one of my first. So what I even enjoy more and love more and want to have for a long time and finally have is Soul Calibur 6. That game. Oh, I love those games. I love the weapons. So back then in the days with Tekken 3, Tekken 3 is amazing, really one of the best fighting games as well. And then Soul Blade came out and I played Soul Blade and it did have weapons and it was so quick and the characters and I loved it. And well, one of the weirdest characters definitely is Waldo. <laughs> um, he's so crazy and weird and uh, well, I, just, I don't know. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, uh, I'm a huge nunchucks fan, so I like Maxi. Maxi mm -hmm. is great. Maxi or... Uh, my favorite. Yeah, great. Yeah, I love him as well. And um, Sangmina was my always favorite lady. I love it. Um, but also Sofitia sometimes. I think uh, once in a while she was quite good. She had some interesting moves. <laughs> yes, I, know I, really I, actually, I actually, you know what's funny? I actually played, like, I, work, I work with children. So I actually had a video game tournament with them and we played that game. And when they oh, saw, amazing. So when they saw the uh, revealing outfits from the female, they were like, oh my God, no, oh my God. I was like, just play the game, just play the game, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, and yeah. Ivy is one of the best as well when it comes to <laughs> outfits. <laughs> that's dope. I'm a huge Soul Calibur fan, so that's an awesome pick up. You're, you're definitely, you're definitely going to love that one. Um, let's go to some Nintendo 64. Um, obviously picked up. So I'm, a huge, I'm a huge wrestling fan, obviously, uh, if you if you know me. Um, I've been meaning to pick this up too. This is probably, this is actually the first uh, N64 game that I got when it was released. Um, my mother bought it for me in 1996. Uh, my no, birthday. Okay. The game she bought with it was WCW NWO Revenge. Um, now, when I tell you I... I am in love with this game. I kid you not, I am in love with this game. <laughs> <laughs> My brother and I used to play this until sun up. No kidding. <laughs> play from like seven, eight o'clock at night to like six, seven, eight in the morning, birds chirping and all. We would play this Amazing. over and over and over again. And obviously I've, I lost the game when I was a kid, obviously I didn't, I wasn't a collector back then, but yeah. going to my retro video game store, um, I just saw it, I was like, yo, I have to, I have to have this. Like, I always have to have this. Um, yes, it's complete. It has the booklet, it has everything inside. This is an amazing game, but it's in mint condition. I love this game so much. Um, if you're not a wrestling fan, it's no problem. You, you can still have like some friends over and fun with this game, trust me. So. Um, WCW and N64, awesome game. Amazing. <laughs> no, I'm really happy that you got it again. That's really good. Uh, a lot of memories. Yes. So yeah. games, um... Absolutely. Oh, now, now we arrive at a game I'm playing at the moment. So I normally play several uh, games in parallel, but this is also one of them. So both of Tsushima. <sighs> Awesome. Only a couple of hours in the game um, yet, but it is so amazing and the graphics. If you just stand there in the wild and watch. And it is really amazing. I've not often came across such a beautiful game, <clears throat> really. And I love all the Japanese styles and 
Wow, I'm looking forward to play it another 100 years, I guess, uh, in my pace. It will take a long time to finish it. <laughs> never rush. You don't have to rush. I say that. Yeah, that's, that's so that's amazing. I have to, yeah, I have to pick that up too. Sadly, I don't, I have not played it. Um, when it was revealed, I was amazed. I was really uh, I'm a huge Samurai Showdown fan. And I'm a huge uh, uh, Onimusha fan as well. Mm -hmm. I was like, I have to play that and Sakiro uh, Shadows Die Twice. I have to play those two. But dope pick up. Dope pick up. <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, uh, we'll stay with Nintendo 64. Um, I played this game a lot as a kid. Um, I see this game at uh, retro arcades and I love it. And it's a uh, cruising world. Amazing, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I know there's a new cruising game coming out. Uh, Nintendo announced, I forgot what it was called, Cruising Exotic or something like that. I could be wrong, but. But I heard about it as well, yeah. Yeah, this is one of the games that taught me how to drive. Recklessly. <laughs> so, uh, uh, now it's amazing. Like, I, I used to love this game. Checkpoint! 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cruising the world. It was awesome. It was, it was such ahead of its time. It, it's obviously, um, yeah, it's like a, a midway. Yeah, definitely a midway game. Um, makers of Mortal Kombat. Um, I, I love it. <laughs> so, yes. Every time I see this in an arcade or like a yeah. store that has like just some, uh, like a, a, oh my gosh, I can't think of the word. Um, a place that has video game arcades. <laughs> <laughs> if I see it, then I'm playing it. So, Heaven. love it. <laughs> No, but this is amazing because I have cruised in USA on the N64 ah, yeah. and my best friend, um, uh, I really played all the games back then, he bought Cruise New uh, World then as well for the Nintendo 64 and then we played at his house or at my house one or the other game and it's just amazing. And do you remember the flies or what it was or the, the bird poo <laughs> that just <laughs> came on your screen and then I can't see anything. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing how they just add stuff like that to make it more realistic. Like, that's why I yeah. love it. Cruising USA and Cruising World is, is, is so dope. Yeah, amazing, guys. Very funny. <laughs> what you got? All right. My last um, PS4 game. Yeah, I have a couple more, but last PS4 game. Did someone say Zekiro before? <laughs> oh, you were hiding that from me. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, um, hard game. So, um, what I also want to show later in action figure, um, I really love the Dark Souls series and hard games. So, well, my personal opinion is not that they are super hard games. It's um, modern games are maybe a bit more comfortable and not necessarily easier, but with those uh, saving points and so on, it's just easier to access if I just remember um, Ghouls and Goblins or Ghosts and Ghouls, for example, for the Super Nintendo. Oh, this was a crazy game of Prince of Persia or something like that, yeah? But it was just, yeah, so uncomfortable because when you're dead, you're dead and then your continues are done and you have to start again without password your school. And, um, well, nowadays, games like the Hero or the um, it. So that's why I really love it. And as we said before already, when we talked about Ghost of Tsushima, Japanese setting, I love it definitely. Yes, he definitely read my mind. I, I, I shouldn't have said anything, but I didn't know. So. <laughs> But yes, I want to pick up those two games, Ghost of Tsushima and Sekiro. So awesome. Like, I'm glad you picked those up. Um, we are kind of narrowing down on the games. Um, I think I have like mm -hmm. two, two or three more. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I picked this game up a few months ago. This uh, is a remake um, and a very expensive game. I got it for a great price, though. I got it for like $50. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of people talk about this game. It's probably very high price up there for the Game Boy. 
Game Boy, GameCube, excuse me. And that is um, Metal Gear Solid, Twin Snakes, the Twin Snakes. Awesome game. It is a remake of the original PS1 uh, Metal Gear Solid. Graphics are a little better. Um, story holds up, just brings you back. If you don't want to play the uh, Metal Gear Solid original, which I don't know why anybody wouldn't want to. Um, yes, this is the alternative. Um, this game is amazing. Snake, amazing character. I love it. Hiding in the lockers, being very incognito about things. Um, yes, I love this game so much. I was playing it uh, last week. I had a blast. I ain't gonna lie. So, a lot of thinking to do. So, um, yes, uh, Metal, uh, Metal Gear Solid, The Twin Snakes, awesome pickup for um, the GameCube. Very nice. So, um, it is um, interesting, please don't laugh. I'm not having a PS5, but I already own a couple of games, yeah? Um, where the question was, well, do I buy it for the PlayStation 4 or do I buy it for the PlayStation 5? Because, well, I definitely will get a PlayStation 5 as soon as I can. Well, the situation is a bit That's difficult. Good. Let's put it like this. So, um, we continue with tough games. I've never played so far Demon Souls, um, but all of the Dark Souls parts and um, I'm so excited getting this so the remake definitely needs to be on the PlayStation 3 for me looking forward to play it really can't wait to get a PS5 finally <laughs> one day but I know I will get it and so <sighs> I bought it for the PS5 <laughs> I believe in you you're gonna get one so. thank you yeah one day I'm, I'm sure you know what the, the fact that you buy the games before you even have a console which is like impossible to get shows that you have hope and i think that's yeah. Cool. Yeah, right. but um no i think i think that's awesome like you, you're buying ps5 games even though you don't have a ps5 like you know you're gonna get one so like you being positive it's really cool um, they're really <laughs> cool. i'm not gonna lie um i haven't seen anybody get one in But yes, Demon Souls. Don't ever mention Dark Souls again because, like, that's probably one of the most hardest games I've ever played in my life. So, uh, <laughs> Dark Souls series really hard. Uh, a lot of a lot of rage and uh, anxiety. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, so Demon Souls is a really cool game. Um, um, I am a big shmup fan. Um, and I picked this up actually last uh, Saturday. Um, I drove pretty far to get this game. Um, I got it for a pretty good price, like $40. Um, I'm a big Taito fan, the company. Um, and like I picked up, this is a very mint condition uh, copy of Darius Twin for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> now, this game I believe is featured in, um, I don't know if you've seen High Score Girl, which is the, uh, it's on Netflix, the anime about video games. I believe this is uh, featured in it. This is very, very mint. Um, I love this game. I beat it last summer. I have not played it since, but I saw um, a copy of it that I could not refuse. And this was like so clean. Um, it's in the plastic still. I'm afraid to take it out. <laughs> yeah. I was contemplating, should I take it out for the video or not? But nah, I'll just leave it out. I know, so if you see some glare, yeah. sorry about that. But it's, it is amazing, it's, it's so clean. Um, yeah, I believe it was released in 1991. Um, yeah, it's an awesome game. It's similar to Gradius, which is one of my favorite games as well. Um, so yes, Darius Twin, awesome, awesome, awesome game. See, I, I love complete Super Nintendo games. Like, they make me happy, so. It's true, it's the same for me, really. <laughs> totally feel you. <laughs> so we have a wonderful game as well. So still PS5, I know. Yeah, of Overcooked, all you can eat. So this is featuring Overcooked 1 and Overcooked 2 with all the add-ons. Mm. Amazing. In Corp, this is so much fun, really. It is also frustrating. So if you play Super Mario Kart with friends, this is not the same, but a similar <laughs> frustration level. 
if um, yeah, your food just burns or whatever, or the whole kitchen burns or whatever, and it's not your fault, and you say, why didn't you take the egg from the hop? So yeah. It's like a Mario Party of cooking. Uh, more or less, um, the um, the mini games are always cooking, but in, in general you can save it so everyone you can play it. I think at, at least four uh, up to four players, and um, th everyone does have to do something in the kitchen. So cutting, getting the ingredients, boiling it, vape, uh, uh, vaping it. No, no, vaping is not the right word. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Putting it in the oven. <laughs> Uh, or cleaning the dishes and also getting the order out and so on. So it can be very hectic, but it's so much fun. And um, not a party game, as you would say, for Mario Party uh, on parties when you are drunk in between. I think personally, maybe other pe people would say it's the perfect party game for being drunk. Um, but <laughs> then I don't think anyone can beat the game. <laughs> Well, really I wouldn't. <laughs> it, that sounds really, yes. really fun. I think I might have to pick that up if you ever get a PS5, which I know you will. We definitely have to play that together. That sounds like <laughs> the whole, but don't yell at me if I burn something. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it reminds me of, uh, I know it's not the same, but like Burger Town, kind of like that. Burger Town or like, uh, what's it called? Cooking, Cooking Mama? For the week. Yeah. Something like that. So. Yeah. yeah, those are games that are like different, you know, you know, different games and not all about fighting, it's just about like teamwork and, you know, stuff. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm going to, I'm going to pick it up and I'm probably going to play it and it'll probably make you jealous. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you would definitely would. <laughs> um, yes, uh, this is my final uh, game. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, I've been looking for this for the longest time. Um, I know that I don't know how hard they are or easy to find, but I do have the game, um, and I recently picked up the box set of this game. Um, I've seen the gun for it in retro video game stores, but I was like, I can't do it. I need like, and I picked up the Time Crisis uh, Gun oh Card box. Set. I love Time Crisis. Um, this is one of my favorite shooters besides Virtual Cop and uh, Lethal Enforcers. But yes, I saw this for a good price. It was only like $25. I thought it was going to be like 80 to to $100. Um, it has the Gun Con in there. It doesn't have the game, but that's fine because I already own the game. Um, so I have the complete edition of the box set for Time Crisis. This is so sick i love it i love it love it love it i love the gun con i love um how it looks i love box sets for stuff um and i get to display it in my game room so um, i'm really in love with this i picked this up last week last saturday the same day i picked up darius twin so i am so in love with this and i'm probably gonna test it out today to wow. yeah so this is this is so awesome this is one of my favorite pickups that i've uh, recently gotten so Time crisis. If you're not a fan, be a fan. <laughs> so I'm also at my last game pickup. Oh, wow. Of course, the last PlayStation 5 game, yeah. Um, of course, Resident Evil 8. Ah. Village. The steel box. So um, that was also pretty amazing. And of course, I needed Resident Evil 8. I want to play it um, by buying it for the PS4. This is just what I was thinking. Um, so getting it for the PS5 <clears throat> made more sense for me. As I said before, for the previous two games, I will definitely own a PS5 one day. And, and yeah, I would regret it having it on the PS4. That's dope. What I thought. <laughs> That's dope. Like um, I haven't even played Resident Evil 8 either, so, you know, I don't know what I'm waiting for. I guess I like to play games when the hype is low, and when not everybody's going crazy about it. Um, and I think for you, it's going to be worth the wait, because you finally get it, and, you know, the graphics yeah. are like, you know, better, so, 
it's dope that mm -hmm. it's, like, it's really dope that you're buying PS5 games. Um, you know, you know PS5. That's that's awesome. So um, yeah, just um, getting a PS5 finally, hopefully. <laughs> I promise, I promise you'll get one. And then you'll be like, oh, and I got one finally. You know, um, anyways, uh, so moving on, um, Emily and I, we don't only collect um, video games, we collect other things as uh, action figures and other things. So um, I want to get into a few um, action figures that I've picked up from like favorite movies um i have three here and i have one that's really near and dear to my heart um this is i'm a big fan of uh NECA, obviously so i've been looking for this at my local target for so long and they've always been sold out but when it was there i never bought it so i finally found one um and that is the terminator 2 judgment day sarah connor and john connor um Oh. Little pack, so it has them both in there. Wow! Awesome, awesome! One of the greatest movies of all time. Um, is so yes, it is. Yeah. It is in great condition. Um, I paid probably like a good maybe 30, 40 bucks for it, but I don't care. I love this movie. I'm a huge Terminator fan. Um, yes, and I love NECA too. So yes. This is awesome. I've been looking for this for so long. You do not understand. I was so pissed in the stores when they had like other stuff and not this. But I definitely wanted this one because I have the Arnold Schwarzenegger one and I wanted this one. Um, but yes, Terminator right. 2, Judgment Day, one of the greatest movies of all time. Sarah Connor, John Connor, awesome characters. Amazing. Yeah. Great game. I figure. Um, wow. Yeah. Yeah, the same here. So I have two action figures. Um, one, Dark Souls. Oh my god! <laughs> no figure though. Pretty nice, uh, and it was super cheap actually. It is from the UK and cost me only t uh, fifteen pounds. What is a bargain? Yeah, so it is really cheap. Fortunately, no taxes, so I was lucky. It just came to yeah. Germany. <laughs> but um, this looks pretty sick to be honest I'm not sure if the details really came out but um, it's a very nice figure I love it so yeah collecting figures is something I'm doing for a long time as well so owning all of those old Final Fantasy figures from Final Fantasy 7 to 9 but yeah this will be a, one of my posts in the near future hopefully <laughs> I, I I seen that on I seen on your Instagram on I think you you have the uh, Back to the Future too action figure Marty McFly right? Back to the Future. You don't have Back to the Future. Uh, no. Okay then maybe I was wrong. Um, but yeah, I'm a Back to the Future fan, so uh, yeah, I definitely collect. I watched the movies recently, and I think I posted that on my story. So that's probably what it was. Oh uh, yeah, so I was born, for those of you who don't know, I was born in 1987. Um, actually, we both were, what am I saying? Um, and I am a huge uh, RoboCop fan. So, <laughs> the summer of 87, I wasn't born, I was born in December, but um, Yes, I saw this at a comic book store, and I had to pick it up. It is RoboCop. Oh, God. RoboCop. <laughs> Alex Murphy. Wow. This is so awesome. Um, it has a little bit of wear and tear in it. Like, there's some, uh, like, you know, look like somebody stabbed through it or something like that. But that doesn't matter to me. Um, I'm a huge RoboCop fan. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously there's you know pictures um posts on my instagram of robocop um yeah i'm a huge fan and it's near and dear to my heart because it's the same year i was born so um yeah i love robocop so much yes i'm a huge 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 fan so uh yes proud to have this in my game room 
people come to my game room and be like, I can't yeah. believe you bought that. I'm like, it's me. So, you know. Um, <laughs> no. Yeah, people would never. <laughs> Well, my figure, my next figure is very girlish. <laughs> because when I was a little girl, I know it's long ago, but um, when I was still at elementary school, I think, um, there was Sailor Moon in TV and I was a huge fan, yes. And then um, on secondary school, I think I was a bit, yeah, getting older and then all like, oh no, of course I don't like Sailor Moon. Well, in my heart, obviously I loved it, but I didn't commit to it. And well, today I don't care. <laughs> and I buy Sailor Moon action figures, obviously. Uh -huh. So, yeah, she is super beautiful. This is my favorite um, dress of her, so Super Sailor Moon. I know it's from the newer series, so not the original ones from the 90s, but yeah, that's um, my dear Sailor Moon. I love Sailor Moon the most and Sailor um, Uranus. And they are so pretty, really. Pretty guardians. <laughs> you know what? You're you're not alone. I used to watch Sailor Moon all the time with my cousin. <laughs> Who was your favorite? Sailor, Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. Yeah. Of course, Sailor yeah. <laughs> I wasn't a religious watcher, but like I watched it uh, quite a few times. There's no change. That is not girly at all. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> All right, this is the last thing for me. If you want to keep going after, feel free. Um, I actually picked this up on last week, last uh, last Tuesday. Um, I saw it at a Newberry Comics. Um, wait, do they have do they have Newberry Comics in Germany? No, probably not. Never heard of them. East, not where I'm from. Well, Newberry Com. Well, I don't even know why I said that. But Newberry Comics is like a. It's not, it's not really a comic book store. It just has like um, action figures, stickers, um, manga books, things of that nature. It's not only comics. Um, mm -hmm. and I saw this when I went to, actually went on a field trip with uh, the kids from my job and I bought it while I was with them. And this is the 1989 uh, Batman. Oh my gosh! From a uh, gallery uh, diorama. This oh my gosh! Amazing. This is amazing. Michael Keaton. Okay. Ben. This is. Wow, I'm super jealous. <laughs> I know there's a lot of glare on it, but like it, this is what it looks like in the back right there. Oh my god! It's so dope. I had to have it in my collection. It was. Wow. Like, $40. I, was, I really thought it was going to be like 40. Like 40. I thought it was, I asked the guy, um, how much is that? He, I thought I'm like, he's about to say like 200, 300. He said 40. And I was like, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. So, uh, this is so, uh, so mad. Wow. So dope. I love Batman. Um, I love Batman Returns as well, but like 1989 version is a classic. Yes, I'm so happy I have this collection, and I have a perfect spot to put it right next to RoboCop. So, <laughs> I'm ending with I'm ending my pickups with this. Um, okay, yeah, I have two small things left, but to Batman, just a couple of words. I, I'm a huge Batman fan. Uh, today I'm just on a regular um, chair that you can see my background a little bit back, better because my gaming chair would be a lot higher. And I have a Batman gaming chair. <laughs> so that's just as a side note. <laughs> Crazy, yo. We're reading each other all episode. <laughs> all right, then the last two items. So one is actually quite funny. What I use on my um, post quite often are socks. I have a couple of cyberpunk socks. Yeah, what I can use in my posts to show some socks. I really enjoy it and Cyberpunk is a really awesome game. So, um, well, not for the PS4 obviously. <laughs> 
So I, I don't have the game. I know that I will love it. Uh, the style of the universe is pretty good. Um, so, socks first. Game later. I have a couple of PlayStation 5 games already to play. And my final pickup is also about something quite beautiful. I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. Yeah, we know that already. <laughs> What I bought is um, this book because um, it was actually quite cheap. 30 euros is um, for this huge book next to my face. Very huge. Um, very cheap actually and it features Final Fantasy 7, 8 and 9 and very nice artwork in it. So if I just open it and everything falls out. It's pretty nice and um, describes the stories and the characters and memorable scenes and so on. So for Final Fantasy 7, 8 and 9, 8 is quite small only, a couple of pages from the 300, maybe 50. So the most popular games are 7 and 9 it looks like. But it's really, really nice to just as a fan browse through it, look at some nice pictures and fall in love again. Yeah. This was my final pick up. <laughs> what a way to send us out. What a way to send us out. Um, this <laughs> has been like an amazing episode. Um, I really <laughs> appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Yo, thank you a million, million, trillion, billion, billion uh, <laughs> times for coming on. Camelia, you are awesome. Your collection is awesome. Thanks, John. Um, being you, continue to post. You have some dope content. You have some dope collection. Um, Thank I'm, you. I'm highly jealous of a lot of stuff you have. Uh, definitely, <laughs> well, we're, we're definitely gonna do this again too. So uh, this is not would be awesome. Yeah. I really love being on your show, and um, can't wait for the next time. I'm super proud that you invited me. Really, and uh, it was a lot of fun to share all the stuff I picked up. Next time it wouldn't be that much, I guess, because yeah, I just took everything from this year. But <laughs> yeah, hey, if we're gonna do some forty-five hour minute, hour, hour videos, um, <laughs> as long as people like it, be good. Um, yes, this is the Virtual Wizard signing out on uh, Game Grabs episode nine. You can find me on Instagram at Virtual Wizard One Up. And Emily, tell them where they can find you on Instagram and social media. Yeah, a very long name, um, Retro Day Dream Gaming Princess, that's me. <laughs> yes, definitely check her out. She has awesome stuff. Every time she posts, I get so jealous and mad in a good way. Because she has Thank awesome you, stuff. I appreciate and, uh, it. <laughs> and for everybody out there for joining us, and thank you, Emily, a million times for joining uh, me on Game Grabs episode nine. Um, thank you as well. <laughs> like I say to everybody, keep gaming on, keep gaming in your hearts, and do not stop. Thank you.